Hi everyone and welcome back to JSA TV where we're coming to you today live from the floor of Data Cloud Global Congress 2025. We're speaking with leaders across our industry about all of the latest stories, news and trends impacting digital infrastructure. I'm Barb Mitchell and I'm very pleased to be joined today by Matt Sanderson who's the CCO of Left Elm Mind Data Centers. Thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. Yeah, we were saying it's been a I think maybe a year or two since we last spoke and I'm I'm very excited to hear, uh, you know, what has been transpiring, what what is new with Leftel. Uh, but first, if you wouldn't mind just telling our viewers a little bit about your organization. Yeah, sure. So Leftel Mine Data Centers, we're a co-location uh, facility out of Norway, and we're a wholesale facility. We are um, um, been around for seven, eight years with live environments, and uh, currently we're looking to expand to other locations in Norway, but also outside Norway. And um, yeah. Yeah, we like to think of us as one of the leading co-location facilities in the Nordics. Oh wow, that's that's amazing. It's a it's a great region for data centers for a lot of a lot of reasons. But let's talk about. I'll let you tell that story. Let's talk about um, how your positioning. I know that a big conversation that's gone outside of our industry now is around AI, of mm -hmm. course. But within our industry, we're talking about the impacts of that. Mm -hmm. And so, how do you keep up with the capacity demands for AI and, and uh, high capacity computing? Sure. Yeah, we're talking about AI factories, right? And uh, yeah. cur currently we're deploying AI factories, 10 megawatt clusters, 130 kilowatt per rack, which is the current AI factories. Yeah. So what we're uh, doing is that we're uh, together with clients, the OEMs, leading OEMs, and also in media, we're talking about how is this going to develop for the, for the future. And um, we're seeing that the design of these factories are rapidly changing. We're seeing that the densities are going up. Uh, we're looking at uh, 300, 600, and later kilowatt per rack, and later one megawatt per rack, yeah. which is dramatically changing what we're doing. But we're also talking about the sizing of them. They're going into skids, you know, three by three meters, six meters long, 35,000 pounds, put them into the white space, you know, and, and yeah. how can we do that? So together with the, the leading uh, OEMs and, and the media, we're talking about how we can cater for that in the future, how we change our design already now. We have clients moving in with 15 plus five years. How can our current design fit future hardware deployments? So we're doing quite a lot in the design work, but at the same time, we're also looking how we can, you know, cater with that with our backbone infrastructure and, and go to those densities. And we're quite lucky in the left of my data center having cold water as an asset for doing right. so. Yeah. yeah. A lot of advantages, as a I said. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Course, but, yeah. but so let's talk about that a little bit more. You know, you know, as you start to think about how the capacity needs to be deployed, you mentioned a little bit about that. What's the industry talking about in terms of market trends? Yeah, yeah. there's so many trends. But if you look at the um, the major uh, market segment, which is AI, high density, there are large clusters. So we're talking about you know a, a lot of power. The trend is to go to where the power is right, is yeah. produced. I mean, we see that. We see the big ones doing that. Of course, you need to have parts of the capacities within the cities close to the customer, but the training models and everything as close as possible to the power production. Um, we also see that sustainability is still, uh, even if some countries are trying to remove them a little bit from that right, you know, perspective, yeah. we're still seeing that is important. So we believe that um, efficiency, new cost models, uh, sustainability and to where the power is produced is driving a lot of uh, the trends within what we focus on, which is HPC or AI or high density workloads. Right. So that's what we're doing uh, or that we're taking in consideration for our strategies, at least. The other thing that I think is is a, a factor right now is, you know, there's a bit of a race to to have this infrastructure built out, right? And so speed to market becomes a competitive advantage. How are you managing that? So we're uh, trying to do what we can. I mean, we yeah. just attended a panel upstairs with Google and with uh, with the Corviv and, and Microsoft, and they say, time to market, help us. You know, we need to go quicker and it needs right. to be more efficient. So what we're doing is that we're trying to pre-build as much as possible. We're doing the backbone of the infrastructure is laid out. And then we modularly add uh, housing solutions and designs to that so that we reduce time to market. And we even pre-build parts of this so that you to what extent can fit all the signs, and then we wait with the last part until the design is actually set together with the clients. Yeah. That reduces the time to market substantially. But then we also, when expanding to other sites, we look on how can we do the same thing there, and how can we really help our clients to, to maneuver in this very 
difficult world for them. Yeah. yeah. It is difficult. Yeah. yeah. And there's, I mean, like we've been saying, there's just so much changing so quickly and so much demand now, um, but sort of with a thought to the future. So yeah. when you see, we're sort of, you know, I, we only had a few minutes here and I want to make sure that you have a chance to tell us anything else, you know, or what are the big things that you're hoping to discuss with people this week throughout the conference? For us, it's about, um, I mean, it's a common challenge we all have. Um, NVIDIA is kind of driving the market with shorter lead times, new versions. Right. And how can we, together as an ecosystem around that, produce shorter time to market, stay in tune with what's coming in design? And, and we're working with um, uh, a lot of the our suppliers, yeah. um, the OEMs, uh, NVIDIA itself, and we're working on how can we, together, make sure that we have oil in the machinery. And that is our constant dialogue currently. Yeah. And then we're, you know, hoping to do the parts of that here. Uh, but also, we're meeting a few end clients, of course, which is potential yeah. clients, which yeah. I, which is important for us. So that, yeah. but it's a great, great show, and we're uh, already having a good time here. Yeah. yeah, and there is so much collaboration, and it's so important. Yeah. And it's, it's an important. ecosystem. Yeah. Takes a village, right? Yeah. And everyone is is you know working towards ultimately similar ends. So it's great to hear that you have such great collaboration already happening and so much work happening in, in your centers in um, in Norway and, yeah. and more to come, I'm yeah. sure. Yeah, so thank you so much for taking the time today yeah, to you. speak with us. Nice. We appreciate it. Okay. And thank you to our viewers for tuning in to JSA TV, where we continue to come to you today live from the floor of Data Cloud Global Congress. Until next time, stay tuned.